Just put into my MSI. This is my BMW programming laptop, my MSI GL72 7QF. This uh, memory bay right here, this can take up to 32 gigabytes. I think I'd ordered two 16 gigabyte sodiums or S drums. And then the, um, as you can see right here, that's the name of them right here. 8 gigabyte DDR4, 260 pin um, uh, sodium. And um, I have no 16 gigabytes. It was formerly 8 gigabytes, this stick right here. This what was in it. It was going on, yes, but it was moving very slow and so on and so forth. So this is what is in it now. This bad daddy right here in my 4K video I'm making of it. Alright, this one is an M.2 slot. This right here. We're going to zoom in some more on it and look. I want to make sure I take a picture of it. And uh, I think it's a 2280 from right here in which it goes here to right here. It's a 2280 centimeter length. Okay, which is about roughly three, what, three inches? I don't know. I have my tape measure. Let my tape measure here. Yeah, roughly three inches. See that? I measure from that to that roughly three inches. Uh, let me make sure it's on the head of the screw. And then we come right here. See that? Three inches. 2280 uh, centimeter. Let me spin this bad daddy around. As I can see, the MSI GL72, the battery is built within it. Basically, not built in it, but it basically screwed in and supported by this screw right here. And uh, maybe it's just one screw. I don't see nothing else. Okay, so this is the battery right here. But these batteries are not pretty long life at all. You know, other laptop batteries outdo these MSI batteries. So I recommend people get, you know, proper laptops that has a very long extended battery life, like three and a half, four hours and so on, or six hours. All right, then. So um, let's take a picture of this um, socket here, the, um, the M2 socket. I think this is the um, the M key. This is the M key. And um, you have another older type that they call um, B key or, M, or B plus M key, meaning that it has another slot cut right up here it has another key like this one this is a key a slot key and it has another one right here in the and in the in the, uh, in the b configuration so um take a picture of that one right here let me see me zoom in some more i don't know what kind of information on the board these are the resistors there and their classification and so on so we come down here and we can look and see that this is a m2 l3 ah well that is if that is what it's referring to let me spin this bad daddy around and let us look again. I like stuff like electronics and board and all that crap. M2 L3. I don't know if it's really referring to M.2, but nevertheless. You get the point. Okay. And here's um a process that says DIP right there. I don't know. That means deep. I don't know. It's just telling you the arrow of the orientation. It's showing you the arrow of the orientation of the um it lot it fast in here, it latch right here, the M2. And then it um, also, it's, it's fastening here and then the data is read from here. Okay, so um, these four pin right here, these are basically four pins right here, this side right here. Let me see if I can zoom in. One, is that four? Yes, yeah, four, one, two, three, four. These are I think, the power on the ground and so on. And then these are the data, band, band, boundary channels and so on. Okay, so basically put um, blah, 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 blah. This is my MSI here. This is the back cover. This is what I used to program BMWs. I don't purchase any other laptop other than the quad core processors. And it can take at least 16 gigabytes memory max. Minimum would be 8. 8 is better than 4 gigabytes. So I recommend minimum random access memory 8. And then you can buy a laptop that can support 32 gigabytes and max it out. I think when I purchased these, I purchased these are basically now 16. But I in the hope that the person were selling on somewhat on eBay, I purchased two 16 gigabyte memory but instead they sent me a package of another one you know these are two eight gigabytes so they think i need 32 gigabyte total so they misinterpret what i ordered for my laptop but it's my fault probably not to read the listing carefully or not to send them a note to let them know that i need two 16 gigabyte ddr4 but instead they send me four eight gigabytes instead and then they have two eight gigabytes in one pack and that's it so I just drop in those two right here. And this is my BMW programming laptop. Always I use my SSDR drive. As you can see, this one is basically a 500 gigabyte and um, so on. I always have SSDs all over the place with these programming 
on it and there's one right there these old time laptop or drives these are um basically the laptop drop they move read write editing this will be screwed up and then you can't use them so i stopped using these piece of crap now solid state doing it for me baby all the time so for all my subscribers on youtube thank you for my subscription that they gave me and then have a nice day i'm gonna lock this video off nice video in 4k and so on so anybody purchasing any laptop or a bmw make sure you get a quad core i7 and then you can also make sure it can max out to be at least 16 gigabyte mine right here of these two channels here they can take 16 gigabyte per channel but right now eight right here and eight right here because the persons on ebay where i buy it from they basically misinterpret what i actually meant or either i don't read that listing properly you know what i mean so with that said and then buy a laptop also that can take a one that can take a, a, a NVMe non-volatile memory flash express. Mine is a M.2 20 80 centimeter length, basically three inches um, across, as you can see right here. From here, this is where the screw lock it in, and then it, the read the read is read from here. So you can purchase a laptop that can you can default the non-volatile uh, memory express to a C drive when you install a Windows operating system on it, and so on. Or you can default this one. Depends which one will be showing up first in the boot menu. You can choose from it, okay? So thank you everybody for viewing my channel and have a nice day. Remember to subscribe to BMW Programming and Encoding. Goodbye.